Alright, what is up dudes? Welcome back to Small Bravely Default. Last episode we did the side quest for the Ninja Asterisk, and now we're going to go ahead and do the main quest. Uh, I haven't seen you lot in a while. I heard about your exploits though. Zats told me all about it. He and his mates stop by for a drink when they're around. Stop by later, okay? I'll give you a special treat. Oh, I wonder what that is. What my special treat right now? Oh, there you are. I can't give you any liquor, but you can help yourself to anything else on the menu. Are you sure? That's very generous of you. Make yourselves at home. I've taken a shine to you all. I'll have the braised shanks and spicy seafood steak. Fluffy cheese omelette, please. Oh, and a palatial parfait deluxe. Sautéed wild pheasant and the slow-cooked country-style stew. Um, sweet herb and nut porridge and some jam-slathered toast. Sure thing. Hang on a second. Uh, what was that? We've been having that a lot lately. Grand ship might be finally coming apart. Yikes. Oh, that was a big shake. How long ago was Grand Ship built? They say it's been three or four thousand years. Basically a long time ago. Wow. It's that old? All right. It's all ready. Help yourself to seconds, of course. Here you go! Let's eat! That was a feast and a half. Is that all you're having on, yes? You eat like a sparrow. I lived by modest means at the temple, and I still get full very easily. Say, proprietor. Do you have any plans tonight? Shall we take a stroll on the deck and listen to the waves? <laughs> What's this guy on about? There we go again. That sound gives me the shivers. We're all used to it here. The whole town floats on the sea after all. It's nothing out of the ordinary for it to creak and sway a bit. I'm stuffed. I couldn't eat another bite. You ate too much, Tis. I can't believe you put all that away. Do men always eat such volume? Well, I guess so. I haven't pigged out that much in a while, though. I see. Quite an appetite. Oh, good of you to stop by. Hi there. Greetings. Ah, the Wind Vestal. Rare to see you both here together. The usual dabs? No, I'm good today. I'm glad we ran into you guys here. Huh? You'd best flee the ship soon. Flee? This place is sinking, and it's going down quick. They're in a panic up on deck. Quick, hold on to me, girls. <laughs> oh, ring a bell. 
never cease to amaze me. Okay, so where are we actually going? Up on deck, I guess that's this way, maybe? Yes, it is. I'm going to go ahead and save it quick, because it's been a while since I saved it, I believe. Alright, let's continue. Actually, I might... No, I don't need to stay in the inn. i got full health, but I need to stay in the inn. Alright, to the deck we go. What is happening? Say, didn't Ringabel's journal say something about an engine room? Maybe this is it here? <clears throat> but it won't open. I'll check the journal again. Hmm. Nothing's changed. There must be a clue around here somewhere. Let's all look. Hmm. What's this? Found something? What language is it written in? I can't read a word. Same here. It's all gibberish to me. Can you read it, Agnes? Wait. This is the ancient language of the Crystal Adventists. I can only make out a few words. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Engine room door. Heart of the ship. Rep Wires Ori Calcum Ship will rise Engine room door It must mean this door oh, I remembered something Huh? Ego, that Ori Calcum he picked up So how far down are we gonna go? Am I leaving the boat? Yep, go to Caldisla. My Cal yeah, it's Caldisla. A lot of back in uh, forth going on around here. Last few main missions. Go to uh, Caldisla, come back to get the kid. Go back to Caldisla, go back to. Hot child, go back to Caldisla. Oh god. Right, back to the inn. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> You're looking well. I believe I have you to thank for that. I'm very grateful. Egil goes to the training hall at the castle every day about this time. He should return soon. I'm back! Oh! It's you guys! I have a favor to ask you, Egil. Can you let me have that orichalcum you found? I know it's a lot to ask. We would really appreciate it, Egil. Oh, please. No need to ask so politely. Of course you can have it. Are you sure? I get eggs for dinner every day here anyway. I can train and go to school as well. All because you rescued me from the sword bearers and brought me here. You needed to help someone out, right? In that case, it's yours. Thank you, Ego. Appreciate it, my good man. Now back to the ship. Yeah. It'd be so much nicer, like, okay, here's the thing, and it's just black screen, and you go. <laughs> comes back on, and you're at the ship. Save me so much time. Be so good. 
All right, that's another ship. And find out what we gotta do. All right, where are we taking it? I think we're checking here first. Make sure it's not in here. Make sure we have to have to get to the old lady. Nope. Go back to the deck then. No, go down. Ugh. We're installing the um, Elder Scrolls Online beta, and it keeps popping up, and it's been really annoying. So, uh, apologies for being a bit distracted. It won't go away. It's like, oh yeah, pop up, do this, go away, and then we go. It opened. Are none of you worried that we're following instructions in Ringabel's journal and that old manuscript without knowing what we're doing? We have to act, whether we like it or not. What will happen to that poor proprietress if we can't keep the ship afloat? Yeah, you're right. What's our next move? The heart of the ship could be somewhere deep inside the engine room. We have to place the orichalcum in there, I guess. Hold on. We don't know what will happen when we do that. Shouldn't we have everyone evacuate the ship first? You're right. It doesn't look like this door has been opened in a while. Anything could happen. There are 298 lifeboats in storage hold 89. It was written on the first page of the council record. So the council members use those boats to escape. Good grief. It can't be helped. Let's split up and lead the townspeople to safety. Heard that loud and clear. We'll take care of the townspeople, don't worry. Wow. So this is what the inside of the council hall looks like. You all head on into the engine room. Zat's name. What up my name? And why don't you ask? No, Zatz Mighty is an awfully impressive moniker for a little guy like me? Uh, no, that's... that isn't... It's fine, buddy. I don't mind. Don't worry about it. Dats and I both. Our names are weirdly at odds with our builds. Always have been. We used to get teased a lot as kids. And we'd pound the kids doing it. Normal kid stuff. Well, you look like a rat. That's probably why. <laughs> I can just picture it. Having a name at all, knowing your roots, I'd say that's a blessing in itself. Ah, right, you lost all your memories, didn't you, Ringabel? <laughs> I don't even know if Ringabel is supposed to be a given name or a family name. Yes, very tragic. Now stop talking. <laughs> Dads and I always talked about how we wanted to just ditch our names. Wanted? In past tense? Yeah, at my old man's funeral, everyone who came... By to talk to me, he said the same thing. He was a little man with the biggest heart I've seen. He never ran, even from a losing fight. He was the sort of guy to walk right up to a bigger man and sock him in the gut. My old man wasn't big, but he was sure as heck mighty. I could feel it. That day, something important handed down from my grandpa to him, to me. It was like I could hear him, telling me it was my turn now, my time. I understand that feeling well. All Vestals adopt the name of uh, Oblige. Like you, we continue the chain connecting past and future. Aha, golly, my name's nothing to compare to a Vestals, but thanks. The way I see it, something I didn't care about all turned into something like I like, that's all. And you still punch anybody who makes fun of it just as hard. Ha <laughs> Ah, ain't that the truth. Alright, well we're going to go in here next time. So thanks for watching, peace.